Hi guys, welcome back to another 3D printed Beatman um, assembly tutorial. This time it's for the hammer module. So you can see here, this is just the hammer module without a body set. I'll be using Bandit Breaker's body set because I haven't printed out hammer rind cores yet. There's also an alternate configuration if you happen to have a spring instead of a rubber band. We'll get right into it. So this is the uh, trigger section. Just slide it in like this and you've got it. And to lock into place, use this cap. You may need to hammer it in. But before that, if you happen to have a spring, something like this. This is a Nerf jolt spring. It's a bit too strong for this application. So you might want to use something a bit weaker and a bit longer as well. So you can see it doesn't go all the way up. But it'll fit like this, and when it pushes down, it'll spring back up. If you can find something better than a nerf, uh, nerf spring, that might be better. If not, just take the pad and slide it over. May need a lot of force for this. So if uh, you can't get it on, you might want to use one of the these. <laughs> Okay, now that that's done, grab your rubber band, wrap it around like this. You can see this rubber band's got a bit of use on it already. Uh, that's why I suggest using a spring. It's okay if it wraps around loosely. Uh, when it's put onto the hammer section, it'll be okay. So grab this like any uh, magazine, just twist it on. Make sure this curved section is facing forward. And there you go, you've got your hammer section complete. You can just stop here if you want a single fire, uh, single fire hammer system. But if you want to use a burst fire, grab this piece, which is a 3 mil section adapter. Just, oh, just twist it on like that. Then you can cap it off. Same thing, make sure the curved section is facing forward. And there you go. Now for the trickier parts. There are these stoppers here. You gotta twist them on, but they're a bit tight and there's not much grip on them. You wanna twist them on before installing the back section because they're a bit tricky to get on with the back in the way. There you go, hammer section. Now for the installation of the body set. You can see this is different from the basic back section. It's got this T-shaped joint. Start by pushing this in. There's a little T-shaped gap in there. Next, take the whole parts. This might be a bit tricky. Oh, sorry about that. Push it in like that. Grab this, the hit blocker. Carefully slide this on, like so. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now take your headpiece, carefully push it down. This may be a bit harder to do, like that. And should fit snugly into place like this. Now you can install the rest as usual. Slide on the front. I can't do this on camera. Give me a second. And presto, you've got your hammer. You've got your hammer module completed. Let's do one test fire. Oh, look at that. <laughs> 